Hi friends, welcome to your February tarot guide for my earth signs. This video is for my earth signs, my Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus friends. Also, be sure to check out your rising sign video as that might resonate with you a little bit more than your sun sign. Um, so yeah, I just asked the cards kind of what is in store for my earth signs for February and a very fun and interesting message came out. So it kind of seems as if you're at the start of something the start of a new, maybe a new job or career, a relationship, or just the start of kind of coming back to yourself. Um, and there are some messages for you here for this beginning. Um, first of all, we had a major arcana card come out. The Fool came out. The Fool is the first card in the major arcana, the first card of the tarot. Um, it's really coming to tell you that you're at the beginning of something. You have so much potential here. The beginning holds so much potential, right? Um, it's asking you to be a little bit more spontaneous and trust yourself. Really tap into your tuition, your intuition, and trust yourself and trust that the universe has your back. So you might be thrown some really uncommon situations this month. You might feel very uncomfortable with where the universe is placing you. And it's kind of a test to see how much you trust yourself and how much you trust that you're on the correct path and that the universe has got your back. So the Fool is kind of here to tell you um, this new beginning should not be feared, it should be rejoiced, and to just connect with yourself. There is a really heavy theme with this reading of tapping into your inner intuition and your inner guide and kind of letting it guide you throughout this month and not really thinking too much with your head, more thinking with your heart, which I know is a little bit harder for us earth signs, but um, definitely a new beginning coming this month if you're not already there. Another card that came out was the King of Wands, which is also a pretty heavy energy in this reading. Whenever a king or a queen comes out, it's asking you to embody this energy throughout the next month. So the King of Wands is like... The king cards are outward movement and the queen cards are inner movement. So when the king of wands comes out, it's telling you that you need to be outwardly bold, outwardly charismatic, outwardly inspiring, outwardly creative. So put yourself out there this month. Um, don't worry about what other people think about you. Stop overthinking things and just kind of commit yourself to being bold this month and really embodying this King of Wands energy. He's a very like well-liked person. He's very inspiring to other people um, and just like very creative, intelligent person. Like everybody is very drawn to the King of Wands. Um, so really kind of embody his energy as you go through this new beginning, these maybe bigger choices in your life, or you've already made big choices and you're not really sure how to navigate them. The King of Wands is here to help you by embodying his spirit and his characteristics. You will probably navigate this, this month a little bit easier. Um, there's going to be lots of fun this month for you. Lots of fun, laughter, good times are ahead. The Two of Pentacles is coming to kind of, t again, tell you to just believe in yourself, trust in yourself, go with your gut this month. Um, there are some good times ahead. You might be meeting some new people, experiencing new things, maybe even some travel going on. Um, and it's all going to be so good and nourishing to your inner self and your um, whatever this new beginning is that you're you're starting or you're, you're coming towards. Um and we the last tarot card that i pulled was the nine of wands and this nine of wands guy you can see he's got like a head wound he's leaning on his wand for support he has definitely been through some shit, and he is still standing he's still standing strong he's got all the support of these wands behind him think of this as your like support system and he's still standing so this is kind of telling me that you guys have been going through maybe a harder time and maybe experiencing some pretty big growth opportunities pretty big pretty hard experiences um this is telling you to persevere through these things so if you continue to have some harder times this month um just know that there are going to be some really good experiences and the hard stuff is just here to make you stronger it's just here to kind of keep pushing you towards the good things um, if we didn't have the hard stuff in life, we wouldn't really learn anything and we wouldn't really grow as human beings, right? So this card is definitely saying like proceed with caution and perseverance and trust your intuition. Again, just such a heavy 
emphasis on trusting yourself and trusting your intuition. And I really think that some practices you can embody to tap into your intuition, especially if you're not too connected with it now, would be like some meditation or grounding practices. So maybe going on walks, listening to medica- meditation music, doing a yoga nidra, going to yoga classes, just really tapping into that inner self, that intuition and grounding yourself down, grounding your energy down is really going to help you this month. Um, big, big, big emphasis on your intuition here. And then I am pulling a yogic path card for everybody this month. This deck is from Sahara Rose. It's a beautiful deck full of lots of yoga principles. And you guys got um, the deity Ganesha. And look at this card. It's so beautiful. Um, Ganesha is known for removing obstacles for us. So she is here to kind of let you know that while you may be experiencing kind of a bumpier road, especially with this nine of wands, Ganesha is here to remove these from you. Um, she is saying that you're at the beginning of an adventure that will bring joy and success, and she is here to guide you through it blissfully and easily. You just need to lean on her energy and focus on your meditation practices and your inner eye and your inner intuition. Um, she is bringing you to this joy, this happiness, um, all these things you're wishing for. You just have to believe that the universe has your back and trust your intuition, trust your gut moving forward this month. So that is my earth signs um, message for February. Again, this is a very general reading for a collective. It may not have completely resonated with you. If you would like a more in-depth reading, I offer those. Um, just reach out to me and I'll send you the link to get signed up for one. And yeah, I will see you guys for next month. I'll see you next month. And I hope you have a good February. I really think this is a great energy. You just need to trust yourself. Trust yourself and lean into the universe and know that the universe has your back and everything will be okay. Get out of your mind space and tap into your heart space. Thank you, my earth signs. Have a good month. Bye.